Okay, so let me learn you something right here. We're in the basement. There's a grow rod inverter. Here's the 14S battery. This is about the batteries in the JK BMS. I'm going to rewire all this. This is not where it's going to be. That used to be in the cooler down there till uh, I had a problem with the NMC connectors first that were going out, weren't letting any power through. So I bypassed the NMC connectors. That's why these look this looks like that. And then I troubleshot it, I bypassed the 70 amp breaker. So now I'm going to connect all that right even before I do this. But these are the old BMS leads for a 14S DALI BMS. The negative goes to the negative of the battery. Then each one of these positives goes to each side of the battery. You see the spaghetti wires? There's a positive on this side, a positive on that side, a positive this side, a positive on that side, all the way up to 14. So what I'm going to do, since I know this has to be wired the same way, the exact same way as this one, I'm going to cut these one by one and fuse them together with this one by one. So I'm going to start by getting this prepped. I don't have any more NMC connectors, but I am going to put the breaker back into it. And then since this is a 14S and this is a new 14S, these should all just be one by one clip and fuse to exact this directly matched directly. But this last one, this 14th one, I got to remember to put that last string of the BMS onto this. Now here's the main positive coming out of the battery. And then there's the main negative coming out of the battery. This main positive bypassed that right now when I was troubleshooting. So the main positive is going to go back over here. Now the main negative right here, the main negative goes directly to the one side of the BMS and then out of the BMS you go to the main negative right here. So I'm going to get this connected right right now. Okay, no turning back now. We're going to do one wire at a time. These are connected to the battery starting with the negative wire. This is going to the main negative of the battery and you have to have it go to your BMS. These are tiny wires. See? That's the main negative and here's the BMS wire. So I'm going to grab the main negative of the BMS wire. Give myself a little bit more wire on here. And get a shrink tube and before I finish with this I'm gonna test each one of these cells now the shrink tube is gonna go make sure I got the wire all the way through the copper and on this side make sure I got all the wire through the copper hard to see actually and when you're shrinking these tubes don't heat your battery Uh, ah, yowza. All right, that's how it's going to be done. Now I'm going to do each individual cell. So now that was number one. So if we take the number two red, it's going to exactly match the number two on this, or the number one battery. Actually, it's the number one battery. So if we take the number one battery right here next to the negative. It's going to completely match this one right here. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm just going to do that 14 times. All right, before anybody comments, I redid that first shrink tube. And I started twisting them together before I shrank them. Put it all the way through right here. Pull it through on the other end. I'm on string five right now. Then I twisted them together. And then I pull them back through the shrink tube right to the center of where the uh, lead is, the solder. And then I melted them together right there. And you got to be careful with these lithium ion cells because they are dangerous. So that's how they're shrunk. All right, I'm going to check the BMS right now. I don't know if you can see. I have the line right here. It's on the negative, and here's my voltage meter. So it's going to check one by one. 
Uh oh. Forty point three, forty four point oh, forty seven point seven. The 14th string has nothing. The 14th string has nothing right now because remember, I gotta connect the last wire on the BMS to the 14th string, so that has nothing yet. Don't do like me. I had all this ready, I went to go pull the last thing, and I tripped on the freaking wires and pulled out one of the wires out the battery. Now directions call from your last wire, your last wire, so that would be fifth strings 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, a space, then your last wire to be connected to your 14th string. So I had it here somewhere, then I tripped on everything. So let me find my 14 string that should be hanging out. This is going to be my 14 string. This is my 14 string that I tripped on. So I have the string tube on it right now. So all these three have to be together. It's your last wire from the JK BMS. And your 14 string have to be together with the last positive from your battery and it wasn't counting on that because this shrink tube I got all smaller shrink tubes 18 to 22 gauge shrink tubes so this is gonna fag on the with this and then I'll let you get back all right so if I touch this and this I should have right about 50 volts right here so put this on the negative right here this is all the way at the end on the negative I can't believe I tripped over this whole dang thing. And right here. That's not right. Oh, I got it wrong. Alrighty, let's do that again. 51.3 volts. So then you step each one of them up. 3.6, 7.3, 10.9, 14.3, 15.3. Twenty one point zero, twenty five point seven, twenty nine point two, thirty two point nine, thirty five point six, forty point three, forty four, forty seven, fifty one. All strings are in order and they're all uh, heat shrinked to the old bms leads the old bms wires so next step try to connect this bms and the negative uh i don't know if i should go ahead and uh charge the uh charge the thing or just let it arc ah. okay so here's the jk bms i have the on and off switch here this is, I'm, I'm amazed it came with this, but this is the on and off switch. And on the bottom, it only fits in this one right here. This is GPS, something else. It only fits in this one right here. So that's where I'm going to put it into. The one, only one that it fits into. Let's see which way it's going to go. I believe it's going to go this way. Snapped right in place. all right so the b minus is going to be all the way on this side on this one right here these should go in right here okay now the other one this is the one with the 14 string the 14th string is going to be on this side that one all the way in <clears throat> that one's all the way in and that's all the way in okay so we got the on and off switch on now these two are your temperature sensors I'm just sitting this on the battery here's a negative uh, the B negative and the P negative so I don't know if you can see let's see this one is going to the battery 
and this one is going to the grow wide inverter. The B negative is going to the battery. The P negative is going to go to the grow wide inverter. All right, so we have it hooked up. B negative to the battery, taped up. P negative to the grow wide inverter, all the way connected. I got the breaker on right here. All right, I haven't charged this. This is not charged, but in all actuality, everything is connected enough where if I push this button, it should go on. Got a red light here. That's a good sign. Got a red light here. The BMS is on. Okay. Oh, let me put my Bluetooth on. The BMS is on. Okay. Can't show you that. Put my Bluetooth on. Bluetooth is on. And. Da -da 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 -da. I already downloaded the app because I was so excited to have it. Okay. It's looking for it right now. Unless that is it right there. It's scanning. It's connecting to it right now. Uh, you want to make a pair, please input password. Password, password, password. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six pair. Oh, pair failed. All right, let me check this out, see how I get this paired. Reading is fundamental. Default password should, and this is three, four. Oh, come on. It says the pair, the password is it's sitting here somewhere. Click on the device to connect the default password is one, two, three, four, or the period should be there. I don't know. Awesome. Here we are. Blinking really good. Cell count not equal to settings. It got 51.15 volts is actually what I'm bringing in. So this is awesome. My lowest cell is the first one, 36.33. Now I got to follow the directions. So there's other videos on setting this up. I'm going to follow the directions and let's see if we can get the dally up. Okay, I'm pressing everything, trying to get the parameters and all that to restore the password. All I do is scroll to the side and there it is. So I got to edit this. So I got to put my password in, which this one should be one, two, three, four, five, six. Hopefully my fat thumbs did that. All right, so my cell count is 14. 14 cells. Okay, battery capacity is 56 volts okay balance timing voltage 0.10 calibrating voltage is 51.15 calibrating voltage when it gets down to 51 i'm going to change that to uh say 55 55 sending failure so it can't do 55 no, it says it's at 55. Uh, advanced settings over protection is at 4.2, which these are at 4.2, so it can't go over 4.2. I am a lithium ion battery, so I checked lithium ion. It says it took it, it's beeping. And uh, cell under, under voltage is at 2.8. Uh, power off at 2.8 uh, Start balance voltage at 3.3 Max balance current 0.6 amps Max balance current 0.6 Continued charge current 25 This current pr uh, over protection is 70 amps I'm good with that Okay, so after you set this, and I am, in, I am in lithium ion, it says go back to premium page. So as you see, the low voltage went down here. So it's already uh, charging the batteries and protecting the batteries. Balance is on, charges off, and discharges off. Think we could turn on the BMS? I mean the grow watt. Let's see. Now here's the grow watt. It's nighttime out. 
so nothing's on right now so I got to get it to discharge on because balance is on but the grow watch should have went on right there so let me see what's going on here okay now I had to go into on the bottom in the settings and all that I had to hit control there's control and once you hit control it allows you to set this turn it on to charge and discharge oh I did it again so I'm back now discharge is on and charge is on so that was by hitting the control button so since this charge is on this should be able to go on oh I still didn't all right so I got my deli in that's on that's good to go all right I'm gonna be playing around with this trying to get my grow on tonight if I come up with a solution I'll let you know I got it I got it I got it I knew I was gonna get it everything's on I can actually shut this charger off now you know what the problem is I'm gonna tell you what the problem is let me get in the light and I'm gonna tell everybody don't use these god dang connectors right here that what are the NMC connectors this right here says it'll shoot the voltage until it gets pressure to it and then it shut the voltage off i cut these twice off of my system and this is what was not letting all the power all the way through this right here drives me nuts talk to you later subscribe like and share holy crap i plugged that into the wall man that thing is charging fast look it's charging at 10 amps 53.17 i was charged at 1.2 amps Man, that thing's handling 10 amps, no problem. I have my grow watch set at 10 amps, just plugged it into the wall. And uh, let's see if it stops at 56 volts. All right, you use NMC connectors. I think they're NMC connectors. Yeah, MC or NMC connectors. They slide into each other and plug into each other. Second time in my grow watch system, second time I had to trouble through, shoot through the whole system only to find out that this is not conducting any electricity once i bypass this little thing my uh grow up went right back on so even though it'll tell you it is getting the 52 volts or you know, mine's at my, at my 48 volt system it was saying that it's getting the 52 volts and then once you would put current to it it wouldn't process the voltage through it so once i bypass these and just went wire to wire for right now no problem powered right up so when you're losing voltage check these these are the, the, the red connectors the big fat red ones there's uh, uh they're nmc or mc connectors but the big fat red ones these the second time on my grow watt solar system or if we got any electrical system they will register they are giving you the voltage until you put a load on it and then it'll drop the current my grow watt system's on up and running right now talk to you later subscribe like and share